the firm that created Terra Ecosystem, Terraform Labs, TFL, announced the date of its Chapter 11 bankruptcy hearing on Wednesday. TFL affirms that the hearing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy will start in the middle of September. Traders responded right away, anticipating a sharp recovery in LUNC and Luna prices following the announcement. The planned confirmation hearing for the Chapter 11 bankruptcy cases of Terraform Labs PTE LTD, TFL, and Terraform Labs Limited, TLL, was announced by Terra on X on August 21st. The scheduled time for the hearing is 10 a.m. Eastern Time on September 19th. This is a significant step in Terraform Labs' bankruptcy reorganization plan. Additionally, they have until today, August 21st, to submit their preliminary crypto loss proof of claim forms. For creditors who wish to use their right to vote in favor of the proposed Chapter 11 plan, this submission is essential. In January, Terraform Labs declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and in June, the company and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, came to a $4.47 billion settlement. TFL's suggested plan was just authorized by the District of Delaware Bankruptcy Court. In order to redeem wrapped assets on Terra Classic, Terra intends to reopen the shuttle bridge. Additionally, the company will burn Luna Foundation Guard, LFG, and TFL wallets containing Luna ecosystem coins. Additionally, within 30 days, users will be able to redeem wrapped assets from the bridge wallets. Any unclaimed cryptocurrency would be burnt. Chris Amani, the CEO of TFL, had stated that LUNC and USTC assets would be burned. As the company burns tokens in Terraform Labs and LFG wallets, Luna and LUNC prices should rise again. Additionally, this has led to the delisting of impacted cryptocurrency on exchanges including eToro and Gemini. Tokens are being taken out of exchanges and staked by investors. Following the announcement, the price of Luna increased by 3%, and it is currently trading at $0.342. $0.3248 is the 24-hour low, and $0.3436 is the 24-hour high. Additionally, there has been a 10% rise in trading volume, suggesting that traders are interested. Terra is a cryptocurrency that automatically tracks the price of other assets or currencies. It is an open-source blockchain payment platform. Users may instantaneously spend, save, trade, or exchange Terra stablecoins thanks to the Terra blockchain. Stablecoins, or digital currencies backed by governments like the US dollar or the euro, are produced via the Terra protocol and are intended to continuously track the value of a fiat currency. It is made up of the cryptocurrency coins Terra and Luna. Terra stablecoins are named after fiat currencies and track their value. For example, the base Terra stablecoin, Terra SDR or SDT, mirrors the price of special drawing rights SDR issued by the International Monetary Fund. The South Korean one is tracked by Terra KRW, KRT, and the US dollar is tracked by Terra USD, UST, two other stablecoin denominations. Burning Luna allows users to mint new Terra. On the other hand, mining and government are done on Luna. The staking token for the Terra system Luna is designed to mitigate the price volatility of Terra stablecoins. Blockchain miners, sometimes referred to as validators, on Terra are rewarded with transaction fees for recording and validating transactions on the blockchain, for which users stake Luna. Luna's value rises in tandem with Terra's increased use. Principal Characteristics of Terra In the rapidly expanding Asian e-commerce market, Terra seeks to increase value for consumers and efficiency for payment service providers. Terra takes on established retail payment apps with the use of Cosmos blockchain technology. Terra circumvents the current disjointed payment infrastructure because it is a comprehensive end-to-end -end payment solution. Payment service companies might save hundreds of millions of dollars a year by utilizing Terra's technology. In order to oversee the collateralization procedures that support and preserve the price stability of Terra's stablecoins, the crypto network uses its own currency, the Luna, as a utility and governance token. Cons and benefits of Terra. Pros. Software developers can build their own protocols and decentralized applications. DApps. On top of Terra using the blockchain-neutral development platform that is part of the Terra ecosystem.
Numerous stable coins connected to currencies are supported by the Terra protocol. Terra Luna tokens assist stabilize its stable coin. It facilitates exchange between Luna and stable coins to raise or decrease supply. Terra unveiled Anchor, a mechanism for loans and savings. Users can deposit money and receive interest on stable coins with this protocol. Cons. Ethereum and other significant cryptocurrency projects are still ahead of Terra. Since its developers are Korean, most Bitcoin transactions pertaining to Terra start there. It's too soon to know if other markets will adopt Terra-related currencies. Compared to Ethereum, Terra is less decentralized. Some purists of blockchain might be put off by this. To be more specific, Terra is a payment system that runs on a blockchain. It was created by Terraform Labs, a South Korean company that Daniel Shin and Du Quan formed in 2018. Former Apple and Microsoft employee Du Quan started a company called Anify that provided decentralized wireless mesh networking technologies. In addition to being a co-founder of the Korean e-commerce company Tmon, better known as Ticket Monster, Shin is the founder and CEO of the Asian payment technology company Chai, a partner of Terra. In its goal to become a top e-commerce stablecoin payment and decentralized finance, DeFi service provider, Terra has a growing ecosystem in the crypto sector with 114 projects across DeFi, Web 3.0, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Several of these initiatives consist of a fixed yield platform with frictionless access and borrowing yields is called Anchor Protocol. Chai, over 2 million South Koreans use this payments app. Low Terra. Terra is a blockchain-based decentralized lottery platform. That synthetics or fungible assets that mimic actual asset prices can be created thanks to the Mirror Protocol. Talus Protocol, an online marketplace where artists can give services and sell their works. Vega Protocol, a derivatives trading and minting platform. The Terra Protocol makes an effort to keep the price of the Terra stablecoin stable by making sure that supply and demand are always equal through the use of arbitrage. This is because the main benefit of stablecoins is derived from the stability of the price peg, theoretically avoiding the volatility typical of cryptocurrencies. Luna absorbs the volatility of the Terra stablecoin and acts as a variable counterweight to it. Imagine the entire Terra economy to be made up of two pools, a Terra pool and a Luna pool, that are used to change the pricing by offering incentives to network users in order to comprehend how Terra operates. The developers are still putting in a lot of work behind the project to make sure everything stays stable despite the crash that occurred a year ago. A few weeks ago, an article appeared on CoinGape stating that the creators of Terra Luna Classic have filed a significant proposal to enhance and introduce derivatives for liquid staking. Developers want to add support for Quicksilver, an interchain liquid staking protocol for the Cosmos ecosystem, by changing the permitted interchain account host messages, according to the proposal. As a result, the Quicksilver chain can send authorized messages and create, manage, and delete accounts on the Terra Luna Classic chain transparently. It will also allow interchain staking on any validators, as well as enhance liquidity and capital efficiency by boosting network security and decentralization. Additionally, it does away with the necessity that a position holder wait for an unbonding period before selling his staked assets. Given this, you ought to be aware that the Terra Luna creators are continuously striving to improve the project. This is to let you know that there is still hope for Terra Luna. I think all will work out in due course. Additionally, I think Terra Luna's investment can make you wealthy. However, everything relies on your investment amount in Terra Luna Classic, your expectations for the market, and the length of time you are willing to hold. The native token of Terra Luna is called LUNC. The video will now come to an end. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and invest sensibly. Regards.